Greetings, unsettled souls. Yo! You want to talk about being unsettled? How about unsettled to the point where you're sickened? If you want to know what filth looks like, if you want to know what absolute garbage and trash looks like, you know, I've done, I've made mistakes that have absolutely ruined things in my life that I cared about more than I could ever articulate. And then I look at some, and I understand each person's responsible for their own wrongs based on the knowledge that they're given. I get it, I get it, I get it. But it still amazes me what some people can do, how desperately evil and rotten people can be, and they have so much and it's like, my God, I feel like some people could be forgiven for anything. And other people, you know, they could make one or two mistakes and their whole life is ruined. I just don't get how people's heads work. In Cabal, private rescue efforts grow desperate as time to evacuate Afghans runs out. The Wall Street Journal. I don't know who this... I mean, you can tell. I, I Those who know me watched me for years. No, I don't stumble and stammer over my words like this. But I'm trying so hard to not swear right now. I'm trying. It's not often that a story gets to me to the point where inside of me it is like it happened to me personally, and it didn't. This is a fury to which I almost cannot contain enough to make this video. A desperate group of American veterans, military contractors, aid workers, and former spies scrambling to get as many people out of Afghanistan as they can before the deadline, which we should not have ever agreed to. Eric Prince. Take a good look at him. Before, I mean, remember him. I don't know anybody do anything illegal. Don't hurt him. Don't break any laws. But in every way that is illegal and does not hurt anyone, I think you all need to remember him. His email box should be full. This man, yeah. Eric Prince, the American defense contractor, that said he was offering people seats on a chartered plane out of Cabal for $6,500 per person. Well, how unbelievably kind of you. Eric Pussy Prince. U.S. and NATO forces are sending special rescue teams into Taliban-controlled areas of the city to spirit their citizens to the airport. And countless Afghans who thought the U.S. would protect them after having assisted the U.S. coalition forces in the past two decades, are now realizing that they will most likely be left behind. Now, I'm not insinuating that the pilots who are running these missions don't deserve to be paid. They're, they're putting their lives in danger. I, I don't mean to insinuate any of that. And I'm going to try not to raise my voice, not to condescend any, not to call. I'm going to try to get through the rest of this in a way that will make you want to share this without thinking, I can't share this because all I did was swear. A lot of the people don't have that money because, for one, even if they were paid very handsomely by the U.S. government, They've probably spent most of their money trying to arrange transportation to the airport that doesn't get them raped, killed, beaten, beheaded, sodomized, drugged behind a car, 
tortured with boiling water, or otherwise abused by the ever-loving people in radical Islam. They have probably, I mean, we talk about how much people spend to get to the United States to break in from southern countries. Do you have any idea what it must cost right now to get in the trunk of a car and get smuggled to the airport if you're lucky enough to even get there to find out they're not going to let you leave anyhow? I mean, anybody hauling anyone in their car, they get caught by the Taliban, their life is over. So a lot of this money's already gone. A lot of it's already been looted and stolen. You think the Taliban rolled into town and said, oh, look at that. Looks like an American family lives there. Looks like an Afghan family with American ties lives there. Looks like they've got some money. Got. I hope Allah blesses them. Maybe I should help them load their things into the car so that they can leave. Maybe even bring them some cake. Why, that would be nice. How does this idiot imagine that these people have $6,500 to give a contract? Let me see if this is known real quick. I hadn't planned on this, but in closing. Hey, Google, how much is Eric Prince contractor worth? Sorry, I don't have any information about that. Hey, Google, what's the net worth of Eric Prince? Sorry, I don't know the net worth of Eric Prince. A lot of you sleuths out there can find it. I think we all need, in every way that's legal, we all need to remember this guy. That 